Hi Aries, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Aries, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Aries. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the world card. So this is fixed sign energy, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio energy. Okay, so this is a, an energy of a completion, a successful completion. It's like a cycle is being closed out here. But on a good note, I'm seeing some sort of karmic rewards as well with this energy. This is, you know, um, feeling happy, feeling successful. Um, you could even be connecting here with someone who is um, across the world or at a distance with this energy or there could be travel plans involved here um, but this is definitely a very positive optimistic energy here there is a sense of wholeness completeness feeling whole within yourself so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this aries okay so the first card we have is the hierophant and this is taurus energy so you could be dealing with taurus next we have the five of pentacles Earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. And finally, we have the Knights of Pentacles, Earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. Okay, so I am seeing here with this Five of Pentacles, um, there is a sense of um, you guys are close to the to the ending. Um, there may be this um, moment where you are feeling like you have been forgotten, you have been left out, you are alone, um, or you've been abandoned. Um, this is a temporary energy because we do have that... Um, that knight of pentacles coming through right afterwards and i do see the knight of pentacles as someone who's moving very slowly somebody who takes their time but they do have um good intentions this is somebody who is coming through with something very dependable and reliable their offer is one that is very solid um, and they take their time because they like to assess things before they really give themselves to it so this person is coming through i'm seeing them catching you by surprise or um you know it's like you've given up hope yeah um you you're feeling like it's done it's like you're feeling like this person isn't interested this person is not coming towards you but i do see them coming towards you and um you being pleasantly surprised yeah um this person they actually are wanting to take things to that higher level of commitment this person is someone who likes to do things traditionally they like to take their time and they are very loyal and i do see um you know, you may feel like this person isn't interested in you because of how slowly they move, but um, they are definitely coming in here and this person could even be traveling towards you, you know, physically coming towards you. Um, I, I do see this person um, wanting to initiate some some sort of a strong um, commitment towards you. So there is an offer of commitment coming your way and it's like this is something you feel like is never going to happen and then it happens. So it is, um, you know, a rewarding energy. And I do see this as someone who, um, who values the spiritual connection as well. So um, this is definitely somebody who you, you, you may already know with this Knight of Pentacles energy. And you may even feel like you've given up on them. And um, they are definitely more invested than you think. This person is going to let it be known now. So let's clarify these cards, Aries.
Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Magician. And this is Mercury energy, so you could be connecting with a Virgo or a Gemini with this energy. So this is an energy of somebody who's taking action here, somebody who is um, realizing things, making things uh, tangible. This person is taking um, action towards creating something that they desire here. So this person is, um, I am seeing someone here who is quite a powerful manifester. Somebody who is very ready, somebody who is taking the initiative and they are finally here. This person is coming towards you and making this, um, they want to make things quite uh, official and committed. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, so the first card we have is the Hierophant again. Okay, so Taurus energy, so you could be dealing with the Taurus. And next we have the World card again, Fixed Sign energy. And finally, we have the Knight of Swords, Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. Okay, so we are seeing here someone who is definitely ready to have something solid. And because we have the Hierophant showing up here twice, I do see this as you and this person um, have the same desire. You guys may want the same thing out of this connection. Um, this person wants stability. This person wants something serious. They are ready to, um, you know, commit. And they want to do things quite practically. Um, with the world card, again, I do see this as them um, seeing your beauty. They are, um, this person value, values you. They do put you on this pedestal and they, they are looking at you in admiration. Um, this person feels like they've learned a lot in this connection and there is that um, teacher. Um, it's like they have a lot to teach and a lot to learn from you. They, they feel like this is a mutually beneficial connection um, and that there's a lot of... Um, spiritual development that can come from this so this person is definitely wanting to pursue this um they are actually quite determined it's like after moving very slowly this person is ready now um to take action and to move things at a quicker pace this person is definitely um making it clear what they want so this person is determined and they want to move things forward they, they don't want to waste time so i do see this person um with the world card this is closing out this um cycle the cycle of um where things are delayed, things are slow, things are, you know, up in the air. That cycle is coming to a completion. You know, it's like you've passed this test and this person is now ready. Okay, so they are looking at you as marriage material or someone that they can have a long-term commitment with. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, um, Aries. Okay, so the card says meditate and contemplate new moon in pisces okay so this person really does value the spiritual aspects of the connection um they this is somebody who takes their time and i do see them wanting um you know things to align and they are feeling like things are aligning here yeah, and they are ready to take action and they've thought a lot about this okay so i'm going to pull out another card for you aries So the card says, honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of, of holiday time together. Okay, so there could be some travel plans here. This person may want to take you somewhere. You guys may be about to enter some sort of honeymoon phase. Um, with the world card, I do see this as uh, going someplace nice or um, some sort of experiences. This could be traveling and um, you guys are about to enter a more, um, you know, fun loving uh, phase of the connection where you will feel more secure with this person enough to just enjoy your time with them okay so i'm going to pull out another card for you aries Okay, so the card says rainbows and messages when it rains look for rainbows 
when it's dark, look for stars. Okay, so I do see this as, uh, again, reassurance that this Five of Pentacles energy is temporary and it's even almost like um, an illusion, like a rainbow. It's elusive. Um, it's This person may be, you may be under the impression that th this is not happening. This person is not interested, but this person is very committed. This person is um, very focused on this, very focused on you. And I do see them making some sort of major offer here, a serious um a desire to commit and take things to that next level so this person is definitely very much into this okay so that's what i'm seeing for you aries i hope you have a really really good day aries bye aries